everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll be talking about Xantha Kane, her strategy and how to build her. Strategy is on how to use her. So let's proceed to Xantha Kane here. I have her myself. I already have her at uh, two star peach. So let's first figure out her skills. Start wing, starting with her attack, Soul Cleanse. So these are just boosts um, in terms of damage. So a plus 50% total in terms of basic attack damage. Next is going to be her ultimate. So for her ultimate, guys, the initial energy needed is 70. So attacks, it's a Terencia Chant. Attacks the current target and cast a streak of divine light on it for 5 seconds. 30% of the damage it it takes within the time will be duplicated turned into divine damage and dealt it again when the da divine light vanishes so once it the a target is being damaged there's another damage coming from the first attack which is 30 percent of that damage um the first attack should finish first before the second attack is being dealt so that is how this is being applied so for its upgradable effects so I think the first one is the most important one, which is if the target is defeated when the Divine Light is still in effect, 2% of the damage that has been duplicated will be divided equally and dealt to all remaining enemies and stuns them for one second. So clearly she can be brought with... Uh, with, uh, with hordes of enemies, but clearly her strength would be on your bosses. Okay, so level 3, 40% of the damage the target takes will be duplicated... Instead of 30 and also and also reduces its energy by 6 when the Divine Light vanishes. So again, as you go to level 3, um, damage is increased further. Uh, I think you should need this as well. It needs, it needs to be upgraded. And her passive, guys, is Transcendence. When the battle starts or being revived, uh, or she when she is being revived, launches a single attack on the current target. Then it takes damage every second until it dies. So consistent damage on the current target that she's in. Again, preferably for bosses. This effect cannot be removed by purification. So upgrade effects are for levels two and three. So boost damage over time times three during the divine light of the ultimate. So the, uh, when she casts her ultimate, this damage increases by times three. And level three, the effect transfers to the next enemy if the target is defeated. So um, level two is actually very important. The next one is kind of okay if you don't have it yet. So uh, it's important that you upgrade both the passive and ultimate up to level two. And the last is her... This year's special um, scale, so self-discipline, boosts the damage dealt from basic attacks by 12%. So, again, the most important here is uh, in the first one, level 2. And the third one is boost the additional damage dealt from basic attacks by 80%. So, this is more on your uh, basic attack. So, um, for her strengths and weaknesses, um, strengths, obviously, she's going to be dealing tons of damage, especially for single targets. And once she deals um, damage, when that target dies, it you know dissipates or uh, transfers to the other ones or she, tra she transfers to a new target. But her weakness definitely is going to be um, her survivability and... Um, make sure that she you give her health so that she can survive bosses, especially the attacks of bosses. Especially for tier, I've actually had experience of her being killed in tier. But again, um, this can be augmented by additional HP. So for the parts that I equipped with her, um, initially I went with... Uh, this is going to be a crit rate set so that she deals more crit because as you can see here her crit rate is at 40 percent already this is the 20 percent that i just added from this one so 10 plus 10 uh, crit damage is actually critical as well so it's advisable that you increase her crit damage as well and what i did for her is it just increase her attack okay so we'll go first here in terms of um, the equip her recommended gear is going to be quite similar to what i just presented so just gonna look for her so you go to the precise equipment then um, your recommended sets would be attack which i'm using right now this one is more on attack speed which most of us don't have yet um, or haven't completed a set especially for the new ones or the beginners for those who are beginners just put your attack set there if you have attack speed in the future i'd rather you transfer 
your attack to attack speed. Um, for me, preference would be attack speed. And the last one, this is going to be your critical... I think this is critical damage. Critical damage, yes. Critical damage is there. So those are the parts that I think are recommended for her. And um, let's go back to how she looks on my end. So th that is where she is right now. So currently, I have her badge at this one, Resource Health to 300% attack when unleashing ultimate. This is actually meant for bosses. So it's for her increased survival. But in terms of the right, uh, I think the recommended badges for her, let's go towards the gallery and look at the badges. So the one that I'm recommending is um, Eternal Nightmare Badge, which is boost attack speed, which you need to boost your attack speed. Basic attacks have 20% chance to bounce lightning off four times, each time dealing damage equal to 160% of attack. You need the the the, atta the attack speed here more than the lightning damage. So if you don't have the yellow ones, the next one is going to be um, end time end time ultimate badge ultimate where is it ultimate badge. Um, yes, this is it. So the end time ultimate badge is going to boost damage by 20% when unleashing the ultimate. So stacks up to five times and lasts up until the battle ends. So if you don't have the ones in yellow, this one is good as well. The next one is going to be end time inferno badge. If you have somebody who deals ignite damage and uh, ignite actually is good for bosses if you want to combo them this also is one of the badges that i think will be used for um specifically for bosses so this is more of a special a specialty badge the the next one is going to be your limited valor or is a limited valor limited valor badge which is boost all damage by 8%. So this is, I think, the blue one. So I suggest you just use the blue ones, not the green ones. So if you don't have the badges that are higher, then you can actually use this one as a blue badge. Okay. So as for team compositions, guys, um, if you want to go more on a brand-centered team composition, the team comp that I'm suggesting is number one, uh, Megan. You can actually use the other, uh, what they call this, others um, that are here, particularly in that team. You could put in either Suzumi for more melee or Minakami for additional range and additional damage. But again, preference would be Megan. Also, the preference would be Sakura because of Sakura's passive. So, boost adjacent allies attack by 40% and extends the effect by 5 seconds. So, you need that of her. And also, so for, for that's only three of them. If you need additional protection, you will be able to, you, you, you will be needing Aoi. And for additional damage, either you bring Yuna for upfront or melee damage in front. Or if you need summoners, you will be actually needing Harriet. So you can actually interchange these, uh, both of them to use. Also, you might be having a lineup that incorporates both Xantha and Ri. So you may actually do that. You just have to forgo. You just have to have um, a defender. You have to have Sakura. And you can actually put Aoi in for more defense or because... Basically, these two are going to hit bosses hard, um, Xantha and Ri. So you can really use them in in the bosses. So the content that I am, you know, um, that you can really use her and really, you know, give her much. So as you can see, I'm at 21. So I already put her here. Um, she's here and she is in the special zone. You put her there. Let's, let's try this out and see what happens. So this is already at 175 and let's see if I can weather this team. So, so far I previously did the, um, what do you call this? Did 20, level 20 of this one and I didn't have any problem. So hopefully I could also clear this one, but I'm kind of skeptical. <laughs> Because um, the level of the, the, the boss here is at 180 already.
But again, um, we'll see. We'll see in a couple of you know, couple of minutes because we're at time seven already, time six, and this is still going great. So so far their HP are still at green and nearly at full. And I think it's holding. The only problem that you'll have is the ultimate of the boss, which he drops a lot of bombs to all of you. So Aoi's gonna save you guys. And uh, hopefully, as you can see, Xantha is very squishy. You need to really, um, you know, um, make sure that her HP is good. So we're at zero. So I think this is going to be good. So, so far, one of the best teams faction-wise for Let's Red that I've used. Um, I didn't, I, I was not actually even counting that they could clear level 21, but they did. So... Again, she performs brilliantly in um, in uh, the big three. So, okay. So, let's try this. This is the lineup that I was worried about. So, she already has another uh, Xanta Kane here. But let's try it out. Let's see how it does. So, so far, um, I think she's going to be good at PvP as well. So, definitely a good... Uh, a good way to wither down tanks so as you can see there yuki is torn down to pieces as well so very good so my final thoughts for xantha kane i think she will be good um as you go towards three star she will really shine there just lure, just give her enough health so that she can survive bosses and I think she would be a good, you know, good addition to um, small hordes of enemies around five or kind of greater than five a little bit. But she shines again. I can't express this uh, enough. Um, she shines well in bosses. And um, as you level up her skills, she can also be used in hordes, particularly for this one. So this one and this one um she will excel in in crowd control as well but not that much but again she's a fantastic figure so far um she's going to be part of our meta when it comes to clearing um she's going to be a good meta character based on bosses based on pvp so i hope you can build her and i hope you have her ready we still have until the end end of december to get her so i hope you get her guys so thank you very much guys for staying this far in this video hopefully you you know you were able to get some tips on this uh video for strategy and for build and don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel because this helps my channel a lot and don't forget to click that um, bell icon so you don't miss any videos from my channel. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.